plants that was eliminated almost down to nothing is the island bushmallow. One of the reasons we suspect for their decline in nature is that the habitats have been so changed by the land uses of the past, ranching being one of them, um, that the kinds of shrublands that they need to, to live in are no longer widespread. Uh, we only know of four places where it grows on this island. This island is the only place where it grows. So it's called Santa Cruz Island Bushmallow because it truly is unique to Santa Cruz Island. Things are looking good in here. We've been able to make cuttings of this plant and plant it out in various places. We've doubled, if not tripled, the numbers of populations of island bush metal that are on Santa Cruz Island. So what will happen next with these plants is they'll be taken out of this media with a little knife and put into pots that are about two inches square, grown up till their roots fill that pot, and then they'll be put into larger pots that are about the size of a gallon of milk jug, and they'll be there in those pots for several months. And then in the fall, when the rains start up out here in this Mediterranean ecosystem, we'll plant them in the field. What we know about the bush mallow is that its habitat used to be much like this scrub here. And so we've found places where we can plant it uh, that are pretty close to roads and places that we can hike to because when we plant them, we first have to water them that first year. So an example of where we've done that is just over here on the other side of the creek on the hillside where you can kind of make out a line where the shrubs meet the grassland. We put them in the edge of the shrubs there to help them um, find their own habitat and hopefully they'll establish and start to make seed and the seed will disperse and, and cover this slope here and they'll find places to grow on their own. Uh, this plant was planted here five years ago and it's surviving quite well and you can see that it's starting to send out sprouts and runners through the vegetation. Here's a little one. Here's another one that's come up. So our goal with recovery of the Malacothamus, for example, is to put lots of clusters of plants out in many different places on the island so that as the climate changes, some of those will be successful. So this plant, while it is a single island endemic, uh, has a pretty good future in front of it, uh, at least as far as our being able to, to know what to do to help it grow.